All right, so in this episode, we're going to help Bryn with um, an apocalypse. Enjoy. All right, guys, we're going for another mission today. And exactly, we're going to the bar. Wait, what? So, you're the one after all. I thought it might be you. The Grandmaster talked to you? I talked to him, yeah. What's this about? Oh, you've been making waves. Opening the gates of the Fortress of Dawn? Not bad. But reaching the inner sanctum? Oh, all kinds of wheels started turning in Antium when you did that. What do you mean? Why would anybody in Antium care about me? I mean that wheels literally started turning inside the palace. Arden Vasa built some device to tell him if a worthy lancer appeared. I hear it told half the city. That's huge and unexpected. A lot of eyes are watching you now, wondering what you'll do next. Yes, well, we're not the only ones. I can help you with that. I guess it's time to properly introduce myself. I'm the law keeper and storyteller for the Legion of Dawn. The Legion is gone. It broke apart centuries ago. The Lancers left the path, it's true. But there have always been a few souls tasked with keeping the Legion alive. Arden Vasa left the wheels ready to turn for a reason. The path of the Legionnaire has been waiting, like the doors at the Fortress of Dawn, for a worthy Lancer. I passed all the tests. I was welcomed into the Legion of Dawn already. Sort of. The trials proved you're worthy to become a Legionnaire, but you're not one yet. You know the stories of General Tarsus. Do you know the tales of her most trusted counsel? I've heard their names. Children's stories, but I don't think that's what you're asking. You should know whose footsteps you're following. At the height of the dawn, countless lancers flocked to the banner of General Tarsus. All who had the heart to fight were given a place, but a few were more than just lancers. These were the boon companions of Tarsus, walking the path as she did, the legionnaires. In the trials, Arden Vasa said something about walking the path too. You opened the doors, but it's not enough to pass the tests. You must keep walking, day after day. Arden Vasa, builder of the first javelin, the first emperor, Saladin, whose swiftness inspired Corvus, Medero, Magnastral, and Leotrel the Unbroken. They all had one thing in common. They shared the ideals of Helena Tarsis. And you want me to do that too? Follow in their footsteps. Become a legionnaire. So many eyes are watching you. If you can do this, revive the path of the legionnaire, maybe the glory days of the legion are only beginning. Man, Medeiron was the son of Arcanists. He had lived his entire life. At ten years old, the world was utterly unknown to him. But among the stories warning children to a whispered tale of a rebellion against the Urgoth. So, at just 10 years old, Medeiron left the... A small child with no knowledge of the world goes out by himself. You know that, and I know that. Raised to be a scholar, he knew how to read the secret sign. He followed them through the wilds to the Legion of Dawn. Or he tried the Chimera had a different plan. Is this the kind of story where a small boy fights a chimera with a stick and a rock? No. Although most of those... He'd never seen a chimera. He'd never even seen a grabbit. But he learned all the warning signs that he was being hunted and remembered stories about laying false trails. He led the chimera on a long and winding path through the rocks, back and forth. He could never shake the creature but it could never find him. Then, the General Tarsis, in the first javelin ever made, 
Testing her new armor, she found the Chimera stalking the boy. Lucky for Madeira. No luck about it. Tarsis followed his trail, just as the Chimera did. She was just learning the javelin. No one knew what it could do, not even the man who made it. Not trusting her suit's strength in a fight with the Chimera, she lured it into chasing her instead. While it ran after Tarsis, Leotrell found the boy and spirited him away. Well, after all that, he just went home. I said safety. No, they took him to their own camp, where the Legion hid at the time. When Tarsis asked where he lived and who his people were, Mederon replied, You're my people. The others tried to persuade him to return home, but after a long moment, Tarsis said, He is home. From then on, Mederon served as a page. Eventually, he became a legionnaire himself. Challenge of Valor. Hello. Freelancer, you're here. Good. What have you got for me, Bryn? Remember that? Ultra powerful. Yeah, and that he scar I The scars hit it well, but thanks to our beacons, I may be on. We're detecting a massive scar presence and a power signature I don't recognize. It's got to be the relic. I'm on it. Go, freelancer, and thank you. Okay, come on, come on now, a little more. Bryn, I'm on my way. What should I be expecting? If our beacons are correct, which they are, lots of scars, and a very large relic. Tough, but doable. Or it's going to be exceptionally challenging, and I may never hear from you again. Or that. Oh, sorry. I thought we were just saying things that might happen.
Just one relic, and it's inert. Would your readings be wrong? No, there's no way it... Man? Did you hear that? I sure did. Hold it. going to be lots of stars and a very big relic. Oh, I believe. It sounds like maybe you don't. Honestly, it's going to be very intense.
the second world school of all time. I've never seen one of those come out of a relic.
kidding me? What the hell is that? Freelancer? I've never seen a relic do that. Hold tight. We'll get this done. Rid? Yes. Oh! Looks like we found it. It's making echoes? Grab them to silence it. We can't let this thing reach the board. It could destroy everything. That's why we won't let it.
really it. Scars, the relics, the scar eye, my sentinels. We did it. We did. <laughs> Come see me back at the fort when you can, freelancer. Holy fuck. Apocalypse? When? Holy crap. That was one hell of a mission, though. One hell of a mission. I'm impressed. Even by my, by my standards, that was impressive. Back to Fort Taurus. Let's see if we need to talk to Brent or anything. If we don't, we're gonna end this episode here, not to make it too long. And we're gonna end this episode just like that. So, anyway, how's it coming? Good, I know. Alright, I'm gonna end this episode here, not to make it too long, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye, enjoy. Alright, guys, and thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I really appreciate all the support you've given us. Uh, please comment, like, and subscribe for more awesome content. And please also check out all of these thumbnails around me for more fantastic content from projects. Alright? Alright, and until the next time, bye bye.